Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Noting. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna show you um, some kind of setup um, in Blender utilizing animation nodes and um, add OSC add-on, basically to be able to kind of recreate um, this kind of a demo by uh, iPhone, by Apple uh, for iPhone X. Um, they call it the Animoji, basically like an animated 3D emoji characters. Um, with the iPhone X, of course, it's gonna be like a like a real 3D face scanning, and I thought it was brilliant. And finally, we have something like a real powerful device in our pocket to track our face, and I thought that was brilliant. And uh, uh, I tried to recreate the setup uh, using a more traditional way, like <clears throat> basically using a webcam, and um, I will be using uh, Blender 3D open source to do this. So I'm gonna close this. And I'm gonna show you uh, the demos. So I got this uh, in Blender, and I think this is already working. And basically, the setup. In order to do this, you need to have um, you need to have first of all um, a webcam camera of some sort. And this is my webcam camera. Um, and yeah, I'm, this is like what I'm what I'm using. Uh, I think it's a Logitech. It's a pretty old camera. I think newer camera have higher resolutions, but you don't, you don't need like really high resolutions. And on top of this, I <clears throat> I have this uh, Face OSC app that's actually running. Um, it's currently actually tracking my face in real time. Um, so what's going on is this app actually uh, kind of streaming the the video image from the webcam. And then transferring some kind of uh, OSC data and let it talk to Blender. So I'm gonna show it to you. Just to be clear. So that's uh, my face being tracked. And just gonna leave it here. And then this is Blender kind of tracking, uh, kind of doing the animations. And following my face, so sometimes with a webcam, you actually need like a really good lighting in order to track it like perfectly. Um, it's kind of work um, like 80, 80 to ninety percent of the time. If the lighting is perfect, uh, it will track your face. Of course, you um, you don't always get like a like a sixty frame per second tracking, but I think this is pretty good. So I can actually kind of move my head to the left and to the right. And what's really interesting for me is not like, a, of course, with the facial face tracking, it's, you, you will not get like 100% as good as the, the one that iPhone X is going to give because it's with iPhone X, like, it's like a real 3D. But in this case, uh, with a webcam, it's pretty much like 2D. And it's tracking, it's trying to guess the points of my face and then, Try to guess where where uh, the jaw, where the eye, and then the, the nose and the mouth. But I think it's pretty good. And you see, you see in Blender here, uh, the monkey head actually can track uh, the tilt of my head, and also kind of it's actually figure out uh, my blinking eyes as well. Although of course it's not tracking the pupil, but I, yeah, I set it up so that um, from face OSC, the OSC data is transferring to Blender in real time into animation nodes and animation nodes actually kind of normalizing all the values. And based on that normalized value, I could actually control all kind of uh, blend shapes in Blender. So, um, of course, this is also kind of dependent on the how good uh, your 3D, actually your 3D character is. You need to rig it properly, perhaps like uh, giving it some good blend shapes. For this face OSC, I only need to prepare around eight, I think around eight uh, kind of like uh, facial characteristic, like the eyebrow and then the nose and the mouth narrow with um, kind of motion. And then there's actually the jaw. The jaw is very, very, very important. But I think in this case, what I found very very good uh, tracking is that the the position and the tilt of the character head that's actually really give uh, a lot of uh, 
expression to the character. Uh, the bling, bling is really weird uh, with face OSC. It's not like perfect, but I, I, I guess you can tweak it until it looks kind of nice. Currently, it's a bit like uh, jerky at time. And yeah, here, I'm, I need to cover the light from, from the window so it tracks my face properly. Well, anyway, I can kind of maybe put this, uh, my face aside and let's, uh, let's go inside and see how uh, everything actually works. So I'm gonna put this aside and let's have a look. So I can keep this running while I'm give me, like giving a breakdown. But anyways, it doesn't always track. I need to kind of cover my face. Um, so let's get started. So like I said, you need to have a couple of things. Of course, you already have a webcam and then you have Blender installed. In this case, I'm actually using animation nodes. That's why I have this bunch of nodes. It's not actually that super complicated. Um, this, what's important here is the add OSE that actually an add-on that can talk to the face OSE. So the face OSE is tracking my face using the webcam. And then this add-on, add OSE, will listen to the OSE message. And, and then from this data that's kind of streaming uh, in real time, that's, there's, like a, there's like a delay, but very, very little. Um, Blender can handle it. And we pass on the data into animation nodes. So I have this, uh, basically this is for the face. You see the, there's like a lot of numbers kind of uh, moving around. That's actually the, for the facial characteristic. Um, depending on your face, you need to kind of normalize the value beforehand, kind of like uh, figure out the minimum and the maximum. So that's why I have this uh, map range node to get the, the minimum and maximum and then kind of turn it into a more normalized value. So I can still adjust it in real time. So this gonna control all kind of uh, blend shapes that this uh, Susan had have. For example, this is for the mouth wide and then this for the O and mouth closed. Mm, and then left eyebrow and right eyebrow. It's not really like very clear in Susan head, but uh, I can make it move the head and the nose a little bit just a little bit and all so only eight actually uh, provided by face OEC but you can always tweak the raw data uh, like 66 points that you can you can pipe into blender and to control the face to get more granularity but anyhow what I really like is actually more on the positioning of the head so this tracks really well there is no jerkiness and I can tilt my head like that's actually working really well. This is the, um, a couple more data that's coming in. So this is tracking the positions and I'm using also <clears throat> the scaling, the scaling of the face OSE to kind of uh, make it move in the Z depth. So X and Y is pretty easy. And you can uh, just pipe in the data and then move this, this uh, head based on that. And the tilt is actually also very interesting. In animation nodes, <clears throat> we have this Euler nodes that and you can simply pass in the, the tilt value that's coming in uh, through, from face OSC into add OSC in Blender. And uh, there you go, that's actually pretty much it. Um, the way I set it up is that um, with add OSC, normally, you need to do the to importing of the keying set, and for that, I'm I wrote a little Python script here just to kind of fill fill up this uh, keying sets. And what's happening is that <clears throat> I have this. Uh, I think I have another setup somewhere. Oh no, no, I think I deleted. It. So basically. I have to, I have a bunch of locators 
and the locators will kind of becoming like a buffer for the data and that that locator actually kind of like a way for me to 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 visualize the data coming in and then i make sure all the data is kind of uh, working and then i normalize it in animation nodes and then once it's normalized becoming uh, the value becoming like uh, between zero and one you can easily pipe in uh, as a blend shapes. Uh, if you want to see the armature, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. This is actually the the rig for the Susan head. It's not, it's not perfect. This is like something I did very, very quickly just to give you some idea. So these are some blend shapes for this character right here. And the blend shape, of course, um, is now being controlled by the face OSE right here. And <clears throat> if I'm not wrong for for the iPhone X, you actually you need you can prepare up to 64 blend shapes for the character. So you can get like a really really good like a facial motions. Blend shape itself is more like a kind of like a simplified uh, kind of like a simplified like a shortcut I can you can say to get a, some kind of facial motions. Uh, in reality, you want to be able to, um, to to kind of track the points properly and then, but I think uh, with iPhone X um, and Apple SDK with the code, they, they will actually um, kind of do the weighting and kind of doing all the hard part. Basically, you just need to show uh, your face into your phone and making the, your face become like, kind of like an interface, uh, like a real-time interface, 60 frames per second, and you can track your face and then kind of transfer it as um, as an AR or like a 3D, like a virtual uh, face mask or whatever. You might have used some, um, like a, this kind of idea using Snapchat app or other app that's kind of uh, maybe Snow app or Masquerade app. That's basically tracking your face. It's actually quite clever. Uh, it's using similar method that we are using here uh, uh, that I'm showing to you. It's uh, more like a 2D. That's kind of like a traditional way. And you can do it um, using your own computer and a webcam and Blender. But what Apple is offering with iPhone X, I believe it's more like a 3D and you get the depth map data, all kind of very um, high tech thing. And I, I, I'm actually really excited. I'm probably I really have to get uh, get one um, and I I want to make an app that actually um, kind of doing this OSC thing from iPhone X to blender and yeah it's still like an idea but that way you can kind of like a uh, more easily um, kind of work your idea from from your computer into some kind of AR um, AR face or head. Well, anyway, this is like a quick demo. Hopefully uh, you find this interesting. I will give you the file and the blend and everything for you to set it up, to, to test it up on your own computer. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this uh, video. Let me know uh, what you think. And if you have any question, let me know and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.